हेलो डियर ऑडियंस एंड स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन इलेमेंट लेक्चर इट्स अ सिक्स लेक्चर इन द सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी डिफरेंट स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन द जनरल डिजाइन प्रोसीजर सी फ्रेंड्स फॉर बी अ गुड डिजाइन इंजीनियर डिजाइन इंजीनियर मस्ट हैव नॉलेज अबाउट मेकेनिक्स स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल थियरी ऑफ मशीन दैट इज टॉम देन मटेरियल साइंस एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंजीनियरिंग और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी मैकेनिकल वर्किंग ड्राइंग मींस इफ ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स और अ डिजाइन इंजीनियर इज अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दिस सब्जेक्ट ही कैन बी अ गुड डिजाइन इंजीनियर एंड वाइल डिजाइनिंग एनी कंपोनेंट एनी पार्ट और अ टोटल मशीन डिजाइनर हैज टू फॉलो डिफरेंट स्टेप्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडे सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज रिकग्निशन ऑफ नीड मीन्स फॉर डिजाइनिंग एनीथिंग डिजाइनर मस्ट नो कि वॉट इज टू बी डिजाइन मीन्स एम शुड बी देयर फॉर डिजाइनिंग एनीथिंग लेट सी वन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल सपोज अ डिजाइनर वॉन्ट टू डिजाइन अ पीन सी हियर दिस इज अ ट्रैक्टर एंड दिस इज अक्सिलरी इलिमेंट विच इज अटैच अटैच टू द ट्रैक्टर एंड ऑक्सिलरी इलिमेंट सपोज डिजाइनर टास्क इज टू डिजाइन दिस पीन दिस इज अ पीन विच वी हैव पुट ओवर हियर अगेन दिस इज पीन सेकंड एंड दिस इज अ थर्ड मीन्स दीज आर द पीन्स and uh, suppose designer's task is to design this pin and designer now designer is aware about what is to be designed means aim is now fix ki what is to be designed means designer has to design this pin so first step is over ki designer is now known with the uh, what is to be designed now second point is synthesis of mechanism means second step is synthesis of mechanism or now designer has to see this object from theory of machine point of view what exactly theory of machine point of view means designer should aware about is there any velocity is there any acceleration related to this component if velocity accelerations are there related to this component then he has to find out velocity and acceleration for that particular component now in our case this is a simple pin means from theory of machine point of view this is a rigid link means a designer must know this is a rigid link and there is a no any motion this is a rest one it is only put for the loading purpose means there is a no any relative motion no no velocity is there no acceleration is there so from theory of machine point of view for the second step there is a no any relative motion no any uh, velocity or no any acceleration so second step is over now third step that is analysis of forces in the analysis of forces designer must know different type of forces in a previous lecture we studied about different type of forces that is a steady load or steady forces there dead load or dead forces there then variable load impact load these are different type of forces or loads man means designer must know different types of load see in our in our example when when tractor is moving in the forward direction the load which is coming over the pin this is a pin load which is coming over the pin is a tensile load which is steady one steady tensile load will be there in this pin again it will be over here and it will be over here means i must know which type of load is there and i identify means designer identify that there is a steady tensile load on this component means third step is over that is analysis of forces and we identify a steady tensile load is there acting on this pin now fourth point is very important that is material selection see material selection means what to design any component material selection plays very important role and designer must have a proper knowledge or he should be aware about a different materials which are available for for that particular applications and material after material selection means suppose uh, for this pin a mild carbon steel is the proper material means carbon steel is there which is proper material for the pin uh, suppose uh, 30 c8 30 c8 mild carbon steel means this pin is made up of mild carbon steel and for this particular material already after testing any material we have ultimate tensile stress shear stress bending stress means all the stresses will be there along with the material if you select the material if i select material 30 c8 and for this particular particular material all the stresses are there in the design data book means all stresses are available means after selection of material the stresses will be there just after select 
selecting the material i have to take the value of stresses this is the fourth step now step number 5 design of the element or we can say it's a size and stresses analysis calculation means design of element means now designer is aware about need he is aware about theory of machine point of view he is again aware about which type of force is there in the component he is again aware about or he has selected a particular material for a component means 30 ca and for this particular material means uh, stresses are there and now designer has to design the element now step number 5 designing of the element see actually over here when tractor is moving in the forward direction this inside portion means this portion and this portion of pin which is in connection with this joint it is moving in the forward direction this will try to this portion and this portion will try to move at this same direction means chances of failure will be in the shear otherwise will be in the bending means designer must know which type of designer must know which type of stresses are going to produce in this particular material and after actually seeing the component seeing the application we observe that the chances of failure of this pin will be in the shear means here when this part will move in this direction this will move in this direction here will be the failure and this failure will be because of shear means designer must know shear stress shear stress is equal to force per unit area here is the twice the area that is area 1 area 2 twice the area suppose this is the diameter diameter d with the help of material selection we have this stresses value suppose this stresses value is for example i am taking for example this stresses value is 80 newton per mm square i am applying force with the help of tractor that is equal to suppose 50 kilo newton 50 into 10 to the power 3 then area will be equal to twice the pi by 4 into d square here by putting all this value designer can get value of diameter diameter of pin and that is mean a design of this component design of pin means this diameter of pin we get after doing all this assumption after doing all these calculations and we have this value after doing this suppose value of this is equal to suppose uh, let's say 24 mm or we can say uh, it's a 30 mm let's say it's a 30 mm 30 mm diameter is 30 mm now this is first stress that we identify that is pin may get fail in the shear now second if pin is not going to fail in the shear see here if it is not going to fail in the shear there may be chances of means this is this rod is moving this portion in the forward direction there may be chances of bending this pin may get bent this pin may get bent mean here it will may get bent otherwise here it may get bent bending is also one type of failure means designer has to think from bending point of view see here this is the second assumption that designer has to made while designing the pin we know bending stress is equal to sigma b is equal to m by z or m is equal to p into e here we can find out here loading is there and due to this moment we going to create m that is m p into e and z is equal to i i is equal to moment of inertia divided by y and as we know i as we know i it is for the circular section circular section for i is equal to pi by 64 into d raised to 4 and y is equal to here y is equal to d by 2 by putting all this value in this equation we can find out bending stress and we can check bending stress for this material and if it and if it is within the limit we can say that pin is safe now this is the assumption means this is a fifth number step a design of elements means in this step we actually has to we actually visualize the stresses which are going to induce in the component in actual assuming the actual working condition and after that this is the stresses and after calculating all stresses we can find out the dimension and to find the dimension is the design design means to find the optimum dimension of component means it should not be more than 30 it should not be less than 30 if it is more than 30 then more material will required more weight will be there less efficiency will be there and if you take less than 30 there may be chances of failure so here we if we get now dimension this step is over then modification step is there see 
uh, in modification steps there are uh, different softwares are available in the market that is uh, uh, ansys software and in ansys software finite element analysis is that means we have to draw this diagram in the ansys and after drawing this diagram in the ansys we have to apply the forces virtually we have to apply the forces and then we get actual loading and actual stresses condition in the pin and if there it going to exceed then again we have to redesign it again we have to modify it means modification is there after doing the calculation we have scope for the modification and in modification step we can modify the things now second last step is detailed drawing means a designer has to draw a detailed drawing of the component means this is suppose i have done a simple detailed drawing we have design of pin so this is a diagram of pin this is a front view of pin this is a top view of pin this is a side view of pin means designer has to draw a drawing and designer has to pro, uh, provide some tolerances some geometrical feature on this drawing so that a production engineer can easily understand this drawing so this is a detailed drawing step number 7 after this step number 8 is there that is production means after detailed drawing this drawing will be sent to the manufacturing department and in the manufacturing department production in engineer will observe this drawing and according to the drawing he will set up the machine and he will start producing the component so this is the end point and we get final product that is a pin after manufacturing after production we get this type of pin so these are different steps involved in the general design procedure means for designing any component designer has to follow this all steps let's see quick first recognition of need that we identify then synthesis of mechanism here we required theory of machine knowledge then analysis of forces here we required uh, strength of material or mechanics knowledge then material selection here again we required uh, material science knowledge then design of element fifth number step then modification then detailed drawing and then production means these are the different steps that a designer must know or these are different steps which are involved in the general design procedure so that's all for this lecture if you like this lecture on design of machine element you can like it you can share it you can sub subscribe my channel thank you